50 crazy facts about music everyone should know. If you listen carefully to Sweet Home Alabama, you can hear Ronnie Van Zant angrily shouting, My donuts! God damn! This is because he treated himself to a box of donuts before the session. While he was recording his vocal in the booth, the band began to eat them all in the control room. He couldn't do anything because he was trapped singing the song. John Paul Jones of Led Zeppelin wrote the idea down for Black Dog on the back of a train ticket on a train home from a rehearsal at Jimmy's house. He got the idea for the song after hearing Tom Cat, a song on the Muddy Waters album Electric Mud. In 1966, before even signing a record contract, Morrison told his bandmates that he would fake his own death to increase their notoriety. Ironically, his actual death had a skyrocket effect on album sales. Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees almost died as a child. He was badly burned at 18 months old when hot tea was spilled on him. His brother, Robin, also had a near-death experience when he and his fiance were involved in a horrific train crash that killed 49 people. The band Gorillaz was named after the birth year of core members, Jamie Hewlett and Damon Albarn. That year is 1968, the year of the monkey. Their original name was simply Gorilla, which was completed with the plural Z later. Neil Young's father, Scott Young, was an author, journalist, and sports writer who cemented his own iconic status north of the U.S. border by penning the 1952 inspirational children's book, Scrubs on Skates. He also wrote a number of other hockey-themed young adult novels. As a child, Little Richard used to give his excrement to people as gifts. He once admitted to having a bowel movement in a box and handing it to an elderly friend of his as a birthday present. He also once pooed in a jelly jar and gave it to his mother. George Harrison had two birthdays. He grew up believing he'd been born on February 25, 1943, shortly after midnight. But in his 30s, he discovered that he'd been born just before midnight on February 24, 1943. Silver Apples are often credited as the first band to bring electronic music to the world of rock and pop in the 60s. They devised a self-made synth made out of 13 World War II oscillators, which were fed through various echoplexes and wah-wah pedals to make their pioneering synth pop music. On June 16, 1978, the band Suicide played a notorious gig in Brussels that ended in a riot. Provoked by the band's aggressive electronic noise and confrontational performance, the crowd began jeering and throwing objects, leading to chaos. Despite the hostility, Suicide extended their set, antagonizing the crowd further. This performance was released in 1998 as 23 Minutes Over Brussels. Jeffrey Lee Pierce, the frontman of the Gun Club, claimed to have prophetic dreams and visions that influenced his songwriting and often incorporated dangerous stunts into his performances, such as playing with knives and broken glass on stage. The band Bam Bam are said to be the original Seattle-based grunge band. Matt Cameron of Pearl Jam was their drummer, and Kurt Cobain even roadied for them back when the Melvins were playing shows with them. The Residents are an avant-garde band best known for their anonymity and their iconic eyeball-headed costumes. They have never revealed their identities and maintain a mysterious persona. Negative Land, a group known for their culture jamming and experimental music, once faced legal action from U2's record label for their EP that parodied the Irish band. It was withdrawn due to misleading artwork and the use of unauthorized sampling. There is a band called the Butthole Surfers from Texas that once had an album banned from distribution due to its controversial cover art. The album in question, Locust Abortion Technician, featured a cover that was so graphic and disturbing, depicting a surgical procedure, that several record stores refused to stock it. Pigface are an industrial rock supergroup that has had over 100 members in various lineups, including Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails and Martin Atkins of Ministry. There is a French progressive rock band called Magma, who are known for inventing their own language, Cobayan, in which all of their songs are sung. Pavement once released a limited edition EP that was pressed on 5-inch mini CDs shaped like a pizza slice. Each CD came in a small pizza box. Acid Mother's Temple and The Melting Paraiso UFO are a Japanese psychedelic rock band. They once released an album titled Electric Heavyland, which featured a 37-minute track with hypnotic guitar solos and spacey soundscapes. Alan Smethurst, known as the Singing Postman, was an English folk singer and postman who gained fame in the 1960s for his songs performed in a strong Norfolk accent, often while wearing his postman uniform. Ludwig van Beethoven wrote a passionate and mysterious love letter addressed to his immortal beloved. To this day, historians and musicologists debate the identity of this beloved person, with theories ranging from a countess to his sister-in-law. Amy Winehouse was a passionate advocate for animal welfare. She once spent $20,000 to save a group of stray cats in the Caribbean, showcasing her deep love for animals. 
Janis Joplin owned a psychedelic Porsche 356 C, which she had custom painted with a vibrant mural and various motifs reflecting her personality. The car became as iconic as she was and is now displayed in a museum. The Beatles' distinctive mop-top hairstyles were initially an accident. They had their hair styled in Hamburg, Germany by their friend and stylist, Astrid Kirchherr, who cut it in a unique way that became their trademark look. Axl Rose, lead singer of Guns N' Roses, has an impressive vocal range spanning 5.5 octaves. That's more than Mariah Carey, Prince and Freddie Mercury. The singer with the widest vocal range, with an astonishing eight octaves, is a lesser known singer from Brazil named Georgia Brown. She also holds the Guinness World Record for hitting a G10, the highest note ever sung by a human. The G10 is so high, it's technically not even a note, but a frequency. Johnny Cash once owned an ostrich named Waldo, which he kept on his farm in Tennessee. The bird was notoriously aggressive and once nearly killed Cash by kicking him, leading to a deep gash on his stomach. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart had a peculiar sense of humor that often involved scatological themes. He wrote letters to his family, filled with crude jokes, and even composed a piece called Lech mich im Arsch, which translates to Lick me in the arse. At a 1969 Alice Cooper concert in Toronto, a member of the audience threw a live chicken on stage. Alice Cooper instinctively threw it back at the audience, thinking it would fly off. Instead, the highly charged crowd tore it apart, turning it into an undercooked KFC bucket. Michael Jackson held a patent for a special shoe designed for his lean dance move, featured in the Smooth Criminal Music video. The shoes had a slot in the heel that could latch onto pegs on the stage, allowing him to defy gravity. In 1993, Prince changed his name to an unpronounceable symbol, combining elements of the male and female symbols, often referred to as the love symbol, as a protest against his record label's control over his music. Brian Hugh Warner chose the stage name Marilyn Manson by combining the first name of actress Marilyn Monroe and the last name of cult leader Charles Manson, representing the juxtaposition of good and evil in American culture. Frank Sinatra had an extensive FBI file due to his alleged connections with the Mafia and his outspoken nature. The file contained over 2,000 pages of surveillance, wiretaps, and informant reports. In 1992, Sinead O'Connor made headlines by tearing up a photo of Pope John Paul II during a live performance on Saturday Night Live, protesting against sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. Billy Joel's hand and wrist was mangled in a 1982 motorcycle accident, and there is no bone in the top of his left thumb, yet he still plays the piano. After leaving Van Halen, David Lee Roth became a certified emergency medical technician in New York City. He worked as an EMT for several years, finding the experience both humbling and rewarding. Willie Nelson cut off his signature braids in 1983 and gave them to Waylon Jennings as a gift to celebrate his sobriety. The braids were later sold at an auction for a staggering $37,000. Bob Marley, the reggae legend, died of melanoma, a form of skin cancer which started under his toenail. He initially mistook it for a soccer injury and delayed treatment due to his Rastafarian beliefs, which led to the cancer spreading. Leonard Cohen spent five years in a Zen Buddhist monastery in California in the 1990s. He was ordained as a monk and took the name Jikan, meaning silence, which profoundly influenced his later music. Tina Turner renounced her U.S. citizenship and became a Swiss citizen in 2013. She had lived in Switzerland for many years and made the decision to fully embrace her life there with her partner, Erwin Bach. I guess there's no Turner Bach now. Jair owns a unique custom-built house in Malibu that has an underwater room with a glass ceiling. This allows her to look up and see the ocean life swimming above her while she relaxes in her home. Home. Let's hope it's strong enough. Marilyn Monroe played a crucial role in boosting Ella Fitzgerald's career. Monroe used her influence to secure Fitzgerald a booking at the Mocambo, a popular nightclub in Los Angeles that had previously refused to book African-American singers. Stevie Nicks of Fleetwood Mac had a severe cocaine addiction in the 1970s and 80s. At one point, she had a hole in her nasal septum from excessive use, which led her to seek treatment. Whitney Houston holds the record for the most American Music Awards won by a female artist. She won a total of 22 AMAs, a testament to her immense talent and popularity. 
Jerry Garcia, guitarist for the Grateful Dead, lost the middle finger of his right hand in a wood chopping accident when he was four years old. Elvis Costello was born Declan Patrick McManus. He adopted his stage name by combining Elvis Presley's first name with his father's stage name, Costello, creating a unique and memorable persona. Elton John was born Reginald Kenneth Dwight. He chose his stage name by combining the first names of two of his bandmates, Elton Dean and Long John Baldry, to create his now iconic persona. Shania Twain was once told she may never sing again after contracting Lyme disease and having open throat surgery. She contracted the tick-borne illness in 2003, and her voice was damaged by the effects of dysphonia as a result. Before meeting John Lennon, Yoko Ono was an established avant-garde artist. Her performance pieces, such as Cut Piece, where audience members were invited to cut away her clothing, were groundbreaking and provocative for the time. In 1996, Bjork was targeted by a stalker named Ricardo Lopez, who sent her a letter bomb before committing suicide. The bomb was intercepted by the police, and Bjork was unharmed. Bro country is a subgenre of country that's about alcohol, parties, trucks, and attractive women. 